Hi everyone, welcome to the best of cat series from IMS. Let's have a look at the next question on numbers. As usual, pause the video over here, try the question on your own and then go ahead. Let's have a look at this question. I would say this is a classic log question. It has been asked so many times in different, different tests and different exams that students would have definitely seen this earlier. P cube is equal to Q raised to 4 is equal to I raised to 5 is equal to S raised to 6. Find the value of log PQR with the base S. Now, which means all of them you need to compare to S individually. So, P cube is S raised to 6. So, now because 3 and 6, 6 is a multiple of 3, this is very simple. P becomes S square, taking cube root on both sides. Right? The next one might not be so obvious, so pay attention carefully. So, if Q is equal, Q raised to 4 is equal to S raised to 6. Right? What will we get? We will get Q is equal to S raised to 6 by 4, which is S raised to 3 by 2. The reason I didn't take square root and then square root of that, just to explain the indices part to you. Same way if I look at R, R raised to 5 is S raised to 6, therefore R is equal to S raised to 6 by 5. Now, let's take logs each time. Or do we want to even take it each time? Let's do it once very carefully. And for the other th two, I'll just write the answer same way like what I get for the first time. So if I take logs over here, I'll get log P is equal to 2 log S. Right? Log P is 2 log S. So log P upon log X is 2. And from the properties of log, you should know log p upon log s is nothing but log p to the base s. So, log p to the base s is 2. Once you understood this, suppose this is your equation 1. Once you've understood this, the others you don't have to do all over again. You should be able to figure out that log q to the base s will come out to be 3 by 2, while log r to the base s will come out to be 6 by 5. And now, if I just go ahead and add, put it in the question, I want log p q r. Log p q r is nothing but log p plus log q plus log r to the base s. So, if I take the question and simplify that, it becomes log p to the base s plus log q to the base s plus log r to the base s, which is nothing but 2 plus 3 by 2 plus 6 by 5. Even if you convert it to decimal and do it orally instead of LCM, that's also very simple. 2 plus 1.5 is 3.5. 3.5 plus 1.2 is 4.7, which is nothing but 47 by 10 as in the options, the first option. So pretty straightforward. And as I said, a classic log question. You are bound to see this at least in one test in a year, definitely. So if you're not looking only at CAT and looking at all the other tests, I would say that somewhere or the other, you will see this question. Well, as usual, please solve the replica question and give your answers in the comment box. 